The report really highlights uh, what some of the key themes in the gas uh, market are. It highlights how gas is growing, has grown very rapidly in 2017, has surprised people on the upside. It really talks about gas in cities. 90% of future growth will come from cities. This requires a lot of investment, between 35 and 55 billion dollars per year is what we estimate. And this type of scale of investments will require a lot of collaboration between industry participants with uh, governments and uh, really public and pu uh, private partnerships. Natural gas is what we do. We're working to complete the development of the European Energy Union, so building some more uh, infrastructure into Europe. This is true for, uh, for pipelines, for regasification, and for storage. And then we're uh, working on uh, greening gas, so on biomethane, on creating as much of a green gas as we can, and also on transport. So we've made investments in CNG, we've announced uh, an agreement with uh, Baker Hughes GE on small-scale LNG, so that's an interesting area for growth. But, but we'll remain focused on our core business, which is a pipeline, and uh, investing in the maintenance and development of pipelines. What's very important, and this is maybe a message that's more relevant for Europe than for other countries, what's really important is that we don't lock into certain technologies when we think about energy. These are very big investments that require many years. So we need to really leave a level playing field so that the market can function. When it comes to CO2, we need global solutions. And the world needs to do a better job if we are to stick to 2%, 2 degrees, which is a Paris uh, target, which is a, a very big challenge that we need to adhere to. And we can only get there through uh, global cooperation.